Hello, I'm Guy Norris from Aviation Week and Space Technology, and I'm here with Avio Aero President and CEO, Ricardo Percracci. Ricardo, could you tell us a little bit about uh, Avio's additive strategy and where you are at the moment? It's obviously a key technology for you. Well, no, we started investing in additive manufacturing 10 years ago. So we think we are really at the leading edge of the application of this technology. For us, uh, additive is uh, the key opportunity to free up the imagination of our engineers. Using additive, we can do uh, the implement designs that we could not implement with uh, traditional technology. And we are mastering both the technology of uh, electron beam melting and the laser technology. So we are seeing applications both in the construction of static components and in the construction of, of, uh, of rotating components. And for us, it's, uh, it's really our future. And could you say a little bit about the applications that you see for this technology, particularly within the, uh, the broader company-wide role within GE, potentially? Absolutely. Uh, a key application is the, uh, what we call now the Catalyst, the new uh, advanced turboprop engine, uh, where we reduce the, by 30% the number of parts. Mm -hmm. On the other side, using uh, the EBM technology, we are building blades for uh, the GE9X that will fly next year and we'll, uh, we'll do it using um, a titanium aluminide um, compound that would be almost impossible to treat with different technology. That's fascinating and of course uh, within the Italian industry itself, you play a key part, you're a technology leader. Can you say something about the strategy within, uh, I think it's called Italy Industry 4.0, and where you are with that now? Absolutely. Um, using also the support that, uh, of a strategy that was implemented by the Italian government, we are in a way reinventing our, uh, our factory. So all our new machines are digitally connected. All each and every operation collects data, then we store and we analyze so that we can at any moment understand how our manufacturing is, is evolving. And the more we can co collect this data and connect them with how our parts perform in operation, the more we'll be able to predict the performance of our, of our equipment. Uh, obviously we're in the middle of the Fon Brea show. Um, how are things going so far? Are you uh getting results that you'd like out of this show? Uh, I, I, I love the show and I love, honestly, what the feedback that our customers are giving to us. They really appreciate in our technology, they appreciate in our commitment. I get appreciation for how we have, in the last five years, since uh, the acquisition from GE, transformed uh, the company. And, uh, there is no better result that one can get in the, from the show. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. So you've heard a little bit about Avio Aero's digital transformation and its additive manufacturing technology. Let's hope we see some of that in two years' time here at the Farm Barrage Show with G's G9X engine.